along the quiet back roads of rural Utah sits the Grist Mill Inn. The Grist Mill Inn was a working flour mill until the 1960s when a tragic accident forced it to close its doors. It was reopened as a bed and breakfast in the 1980s and is now haunted by the ghosts of its past. Stepping inside feels like stepping back in time. The building retains some of the original mill machinery as part of its charm and decor. Over the years, there have been many reports of spiritual encounters, both by the inn staff and its guests. In the spring of 1968, when a group of Cub Scouts was visiting what was then the Monticello flour mill, some of the boys started playing around the old grain elevator one of the boys didn't make it and was crushed in the elevator gears. The incident divided the town and allegedly contributed to the mill's eventual closing. Today, a presence can be felt in the main lobby, a thickness in the air at the bottom of the stairs. People claim to have seen the ghost of a young boy, believed to be the Cub Scout, playing and peeking around corners. He has also been reported in the kitchen when the staff is baking cookies. But that's not the only spirit that's said to reside here. People have reported seeing a man sitting by the old bagging machine in the dining room. In the Nielsen suite, people have seen an old man sitting on the bed, and the staff will often find the bedsheets unmade. In the Corbin room, there's something more sinister. Guests have reported a dark presence of a man wearing work clothes hovering over the bed and slamming the door. One theory is that some of the old machine parts used to decorate the inn came from other mills and brought their own spirits with them. Not surprisingly, the residents of the town don't like to talk about the Cub Scout incident and don't want the inn only known as a ghost hunter's destination. Whether there are restless spirits or not, there is no denying the inn's history and the many reports of encounters that continue to this day. These are the legends of the Grist Mill Inn. If you want to draw your own conclusions, you just have to spend the night and see for yourself. <laughs>